in the name of God, the most merciful and the most compassionate. Hi everyone, how you doing? The son and I bid you our welcome filled with hopes and dreams. Overcome to become, eyeless riding test. The topic of today is about overcome to become. Tell us a story ending with overcome to become. Choose between the pain of depression and the pain of succeeding. Being wheelchair bound did not dare that para athlete from pursuing her dreams. A spinal and injury may have confined her to a wheelchair, but Nisha Gupta didn't let that stop her. A happy childhood. Simple, playful, naughty. These are some of the words that describe Nisha as a child. Nisha Gupta remembers having a happy childhood. She rarely sat still and was always playing with her friends and her brothers. The Bane of Depression During a visit to her village with her family, she was climbing a wall with her brothers to pluck mangoes when she slipped, fell and fractured her spine. A spinal cord injury. She was only 18 years old. At that age, she thought everything would be fine and she would get better like people do when they fracture their arm or leg. She thought people fracture their arm and legs all the time, but it's fixed and everything goes back to normal. She did not realize then that she would be wheelchair bound for the rest of her life. Loss of hope. Following a spinal cord surgery, she spent nearly four years confined to her home, watching television and sleeping and sleeping into depression. The four years after the accident were the darkest times of her life. People thought that her life was over and that she could not do anything now. After her injury, her friends, who had initially been supportive, drifted away. Her family was supportive, but not sure how they could take care of her. <coughs> Anguish and sadness filled her day. She truly believed that her life was over, and she spent her entire time at home feeling dejected. She lost hope, she resigned herself. The emotions of despair and hopelessness attacked her. <coughs> the turning point. She was sent to a rehabilitation center where they taught her how to adapt to her new condition. Seeing no light at the end of the tunnel, she asked God to guide her steps and show her the way forward. Let your hopes, not your hurts, shape your future. The doctor suggested she pay a visit to the Nina Foundation an NGO for spinal cord injury patients. They were conducting an event for awareness and that was the first time she went there. She saw a girl who was dancing in, a, in her wheelchair. That was like the universe throwing her a raft. There were a lot of wheelchair users there and she felt like maybe she is not alone. For the first time, she saw some hope for herself and her new life. She saw a girl who was dancing in her wheelchair. He says, I'm not what happened to me. There were wheelchair users in Nina Foundation. And instead of cursing the darkness, light candle, send the measure good vibes your way. The turning point. Meeting others like her and participating in various activities was a turning point. Her manager, Oliver, who was also in a wheelchair, encouraged her to be more independent. He taught her to travel alone. He said that she could ask someone at home to help her sit in a taxi or auto and that there would be someone to help her get out of the auto when she reached her destination. She felt independent and got more motivated. 
Meeting others like her and participating in various activities was a turning point. This beautiful girl says to you, use your time wisely. A positive mindset brings positive things. This champion says to you, an athlete cannot run with money in his pockets. He must run with hope in his heart and the dreams in his head. Never give up, never give in. And when the upper hand is ours, may we have the ability to handle the win with the dignity that we absorb the loss. The more difficult the victory, the greater the happiness in winning. It is not the will to win that matters. Everyone has that. It is the will to prepare to win that matters. Believe and act as if it were impossible to fail. No life with despair and no despair with life. It was Oliver who encouraged her to start building her strength and to participate in sports. He suggested she start swimming. She started swimming there regularly. Along the way, she developed an interest in basketball and started training regularly. The word impossible is not in my dictionary. Refusing to give up, Nisha struggled along the exhausting, painful, and endless road to living as a quadriplegic. She fought to thrive once again, and she achieved. She won three state-level gold medals and three national-level bronze medals in swimming. She won a bronze in the second wheelchair basketball tournament for para-athletes in 2015 which was the first time she ever competed. She also placed the third in the International Party Tournament in 2017. She is currently a member of the Maharashtra Women's Wheelchair Basketball Team that secured fourth place in the 2017 Nationals. What about you? You don't suffer like them. So yes, you can do this. Yes, you can achieve what you set out to do. Yes, you can make a change if you set your mind to it. The difference between the impossible and the possible lies in your determination. Age is no barrier. It is a limitation you put on your mind. Aspire to inspire before you expire. The message, overcome to become. Energy and persistence conquer all things. Beautiful souls are shaped by ugly experiences. Don't be pushed around by the fears in your mind. Be led by the dreams in your heart. Difficult times come and go, but the only thing that matters is to keep the fire in your heart burning and persevere. Life is a mixture of sunshine and rain, teardrops and laughter, pleasure and pain, break a leg, say double man.